Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social here with my mate Mikey McKinson after six rounds with a sort of a tough Nicaraguan, an overweight Nicaraguan. Um, how do you assess the performance? Just speaking there, um, you could feel that he was heavier, but you look good. You came out throwing some uh, some heavy punches. The stoppage maybe could have been there. I mean, how do you assess it? Yeah, I hurt him in the last round. Obviously, I'm used to 10 round fights. The last one, I prepared for a 12. So it was a bit longer. And with a body shot in round six, maybe a couple more rounds, I would have got him out of there. But he was a big boy, and obviously, he came in five pounds overweight yesterday. Um, I, I, like, I felt he was a bit big in there, but I did feel strong. It wasn't a show real performance. I was expecting to come here and really put on a show. Um, but, you know, I, I took on a tough, a tough comeback fight, and it paid off. I got more out of that than I would have if I accepted the, the guy with 30 losses. You know, hopefully I'm back in the picture for, for big fights in 2023 now. I'm a world-class fighter. The better the opposition, the better I'll be. So let's go 2023. And you got yourself on YouTube live. That's it. I don't, there was a time I wouldn't have been able to... There was a moment, there was a 24 hours where it was a bit shaky if I'd get any coverage. But uh, no, I'm happy. Overall, I'm happy. How do you now look forward on to 2023? Obviously, we've spoke this week about the year that you've had. I mean, so eventful um, from this week alone to that first week out in LA to that week that you had in Texas. Um, just away from that now, you know, what do you look forward to? Is it get yourself back in the world title contention? I know there's a few names that you yourself want to call out. Yeah, you know, um, there's a couple of names domestically. You know, I'm very grateful to, to Ben and Boxer for getting me on this show and obviously my team. Uh, K4 Global, they've, they've really worked their magic to get me on such a great card hour down the road for me. So I know there's, there's fights domestically, I know Congo's with Boxer and stuff and they might want to make that in the future. But I beat him up 18 months ago. He, hold, he holds a belt that I won five years ago. You know, so what does that do me any good? Um, I'm respected a lot more in the States. Golden Boy, there's opportunities over there, like, like um, Blair Cobbs. I'd love to go over and fight Blair Cobbs. I know in March he called me out. I don't know if anyone see the video that he put out fight week in March. And then he got a good win last time. He said, you get yourself a win and we'll get it in the new year. So Blair Cobbs, I've got my win. I'll come back to the States. Let's get it on. You want to stop him from wooing? Exactly. It's a, he's a, you know, he's actually a nice bloke. Like, I, I know him personally. It's all a character and obviously it works for him. But there's a lot of fights in the States. Um, Blair Cobbs, Alexis Roger, they're good. I know I'm respected a lot more out in the States, so there, there's opportunities there. But no, I'm back in the picture now. Everyone that knows me knows that, knows that I'm, I'm here and I'll fight anyone. But I know my worth now. I won't fight anyone for free. So, uh, yeah, I'm one of the best fighters. Well, I am the best fighter in the UK, and I'm world ranked. And hopefully that win's just put me back in the picture for big fights. Obviously, going out to the States has its perks, but um, we know that sort of in terms of your own profile domestically is where it's at. You speak about Congo being with Boxer, but I imagine for yourself it would have to be a real good offer because when you get yourself off that performance that you did out in Gibraltar, how do you bring yourself to, to sort of fighting him again? You know, is, is that something that you'd have to sort of weigh up yourself? Would it have to be the right offer? Do you know what it is? I'm, I don't think I'm respected enough over it. You know, like I'm, I'm UK's number one white away and unless I'm going to be looked after, which I've never been looked after in my life, why not go back to the States? Congo's a good fighter, but I beat him up 18 months ago and I'd beat him up again. So uh, unless the offer was right, I'm not interested. Another name that the team at Golden Boy are interested in you potentially fighting, Alexis Rocker. Yeah. I know that there was potential of that happening yeah. uh, back in, was it March? I'll tell you yeah. something, you know the night uh, Ortiz pulled out? The, was that Tuesday night? I went to sleep accepting to fight Alexis Roger that weekend. I woke up to news that it wasn't happening that weekend. So I've accepted to uh, fight him before. Um, he's, a, he's a great, respectful guy. Him and his team are unbelievable people. When I took my first loss in, in Texas in, in August, him and his coach were the first in my change rooms afterwards to, to see how I was and anything. So I got nothing but respect and love to Team Roger. But that's a fight that can happen in, in the new year, you know? The bigger the fight, the happier I am. Anyone can get it as simple as. That's it, that's it. And I, I'm here to fight anyone. As, lo as long as the numbers are right, let's kill it. Just finally, from me, I know that with train strikes and everything that's going on so close to Christmas, it's difficult. 
but you had supporters here tonight and they were as loud as they could have possibly been. They had their seats, but they were still coming down to the barrier where they weren't meant to be and making noise as the, as the Pompey boys do. Um, just a message to them, all your supporters, and a word ahead of 2023. I know, it's been a bit of a nightmare. People's had to change their travel ideas to get here. There's train strikes and that, but a lot of love. For, like I was only on the card last week, was I, two weeks ago? So a lot of love for the people that have came. The people even watching at home, you know, they got to watch me in the end on the YouTube. So, uh, like, I'm, overly I'm not happy with the performance because I know it could be a lot more exciting than that. But I, I took a tough fight today. I could have took the easy option. I took a tough fight who's only lost to world-class opposition. So, I'm, overall, I am happy. I am happy. Look, no Oscar. The band's nearly together. Mikey, thank you for your time. Look forward to seeing you out in the new year. <laughs>